The 2023 season uh, was a little bit of a tough one for us. We had a lot of young guys that got a lot of first starts. We had a lot of growth. Uh, just again, from those young guys getting a lot of experience and being able to come back out this year, uh, being able to build off of that, um, really, really f leaned into the uh, culture of fighting, uh, the culture of not wanting to give up. Coming from four returners from my first year to second year to now having 11, it's really forged where we're, I think, headed this year in 2024. Um, and I'm really excited to see uh, where we take those lessons from last year and where we go with them this year. So just throw hands. All you're doing is throwing hands, and it's just a release. Here, go! Sure. There you go. Come on. Next up. Come on. I think a lot of it is mentality. Uh, I think last year we came into the season thinking we were going to be really good and then losing the first game, and then that basically it went straight downhill from there. No one had any hope. And uh, I think this year, I think it's just going to be a lot more of like going into a game with a lot more confidence and like everyone on the team with the same mission to win this game and then move on to the next week. We have a check in, check out sign. And then when we leave the practice field, um, the quote that they're tapping out on is check the mirror. Um, and we want to make sure that those guys, when they leave the practice field, that you know they can look at themselves uh, in the mirror at night and understand they gave everything to the practice field that day, gave everything to their brothers and coaches. That sign's there to make sure that we are locked in. We cut out any other outside practice, thoughts, everything. And when we check out, we check out knowing that we gave our best on the field. Every time we enter this field, we dare greatly leave everything else on this field and leave nothing when we come off and always check check the mirror, meaning did we do our 100, give 100% and give our best every single day. See if you're putting 100% on the field, making sure that even if you don't, that you can next time even put more on the field and just making sure that when you come home, you're happy with what you're looking at. Three-year starter, uh, senior leader. Uh, he's been been just a, a stalwart on our offensive line over the past couple of years. And that's Jaden Legaspi. Um, excellent thrower. Uh, was a, a CI, I think, a CF qualifier in, in throwing this year. So he's a guy that really takes charge of our offensive line. Uh, he's going to play some D-line for us this year as well. So we're really, really stoked on what he's going to do as that that senior lineman. We've had one every year so far that that have been here, a three-year starter. So. He's kind of filling that role and, and he knows he's got big shoes to fill and we're really stoked on what he's going to bring this year. I didn't know I was going to be a so uh, starter as a sophomore, but um, at this point, I'm happy I did. But how, how I got here takes a lot of confidence, courage, and battling through every injury, every D lineman, O lineman you got to go against. And yeah, and you got to have that good teammates around you to support you and cheer you on even through the harder times. Noah McClary, uh, he's the uh, freshman that started seven games for us. Um, probably the fastest kid in our program. Three sport uh, varsity letter as a freshman, football, uh, track and soccer. Um, and I think as a freshman, qualified for CIF in, in track, uh, in the hurdles. He's uh, aggressive on defense, plays corner wide receiver for us. Um, just wants to, wants to be the guy that makes Canyon football you know, one of the best North Orange County teams that, you know, in the county. Got some speed, you know, uh, like running those deep, deep routes, get us some touchdowns at the end of the day. And um, overall, you know, just got to bring the energy, have lots of fun on this field and enjoy this time. Coach Hughes here got us and Coach Yost got a great offense running. Uh, we got a fast, fast going offense, no huddle. And we bring a lot of fire to this this game. Alex Lunsberg, so that may be a name that sounds familiar. Uh, little brother to uh, Christian from my first year here. Um, and so he's getting his crack at, at what, you know, uh, run the air raid at Canyon is about. Um, you know, had a pretty good showing his first, first game last week, uh, threw for uh, over 300 yards. Um, I think it was about 350. Um, and so had a really good, really good first game. Obviously, you know, uh, first game, get the jitters, get, get, some, of the, get some of those uh, early mistakes, but really settled down and so um, uh, into the game and, and had a phenomenal second half. And so we're hoping that he can settle into that, that role as our quarterback and lead us into a, a really promising uh, rest of these nine games of this year. As a quarterback, I think I'm the one quarterback that has brought running to the team in a long time. A lot of our team quarterbacks have been uh, more in the pocket, kind of sitting there. While I bring the like the double front to the team, I'm a threat on both sides. Kellen Rommelfanger, uh, again, he's another kid that got a, got some time as a freshman actually in that 2022 campaign. Second year starter this year, um, played a lot last year as a sophomore. 
uh, got a lot of really valuable reps for us, uh, made some big catches. Um, and then this year, again, uh, is, is kind of in that, that primary uh, receiver role for us uh, in that, that right slot. Um, I mean, in our, our first game of the year, had uh, almost 150 yards receiving and a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So a savvy receiver likes, uh, you know, is able to find the hole in the defense and, um, you know, is really developed as a pass catcher for us. So we're really stoked on what he's going to do at, at receiver for us this year. Well, I play baseball in the offseason, so I, I have a pretty packed offseason. But I, uh, I, I work with uh, OCSF and we work on uh, getting, getting faster, getting stronger, getting bigger. A lot of what we're trying to do out here, right, is compete. We're trying to get you guys to compete more. Push you guys to understand that it is every single rep you have to compete for. It's not just on Friday night, right, when, when the zeros come up, if that's the win, right? It is every single rep in practice. We've got to win every single rep in practice. Is that clear? Yes, coach. Up, oh, get a break. Yeah. Order, Pop. Get on three. One, two, three. Get